Hello guys and welcome back to another video on Texon. Today I'm just here on my own and we are looking at the verbatim. So basically what this is, is this is the verbatim media share. Um, it sort of works over a Wi-Fi type of connection. Um, so this, by this way you can access files, um, like such as like films, documents, uh, pictures, songs, all through this onto your iPad wirelessly or your phone or any type of phone you can get it on the Android store and I'm sure you can get it on the App Store um, I've got my iPad here at the moment I'm going to use this to show you the demonstration of how you can watch videos and it's great for on the go and um, going along journeys basically anywhere where you don't want to have loads of um, you want to have more memory on your device without taking up with films so guys I'm just going to go and show you how to use this I'm going to show you the main two apps that you want to use if you like sort of like download the films I don't really care how you get the films as long as you're putting them on something so this does not have any memory at all what you need is something like a hard drive or a memory stick or an SD card basically this is made for photographers so they can put um, stuff like pictures onto their iPad or onto their computer while they're on the go um, easily um, but obviously as you can see there USB and a um, SD card slot um, so that's where your hard drive would slot into and then you can access your files. So guys, this is my iPad, um, it's just the iPad Air and here is the verbatim. So, um, here there is a lot of, um, like, this is where it would be displayed. So we've got a battery and that'll be green, obviously when it comes on as well. We've got your Wi-Fi, which you, this can work as a bridge device. So you can also connect to this and connect to Wi-Fi. And then you've got your writable drive here. Uh, shows you that your drive's plugged in. So I've got USB and I'm going away skiing with the school um, in a few weeks. So I'll be using this to watch all my films. Um, so if I just unlock my iPad. And if you be watching films, maybe if you're watch, uh, doing if you're doing uh, songs and if you're doing songs and pictures, then it's fine. But if you're watching films, you'll need these two apps. So here is the Media Share app, which this is where you get all of your files from, and that's how you can access them. And you'll also need to download a VLC if you're watching films. That way, you can watch films in any format. Um, so that allows you to watch MKVs and um, um, MOVs. The only thing the app actually allows you to watch is MP4s. So that's great for GoPro clips if you want to put them straight onto that. Um, and films that are in MP4, obviously you can use, play them straight off there. Um, I'm going to show you how to download them and how to play them online, um, which is like stream. So you, if you want to download them, you can turn the device off and not need to use a battery. But if you want to play them streaming, yes, you'll be using the battery. It doesn't waste much, but if there's a few of you connected, because up to five people can connect to the device, if there's a few of you connected, it can waste the battery a bit. So I'm just going to go and turn on the device. I'm not sure what battery it's got, because I haven't charged up for a while but there you see the two buttons the two lights coming on the device so I'm just gonna leave that there at the side let that come on and I'm gonna sorry I'm gonna connect my drive first just slots in there see the drive is getting power to it I'm just gonna leave that there and while I connect it so you want to go to your settings um, and you want to just connect it as you connect into a Wi-Fi so at the moment I'm connecting my Wi-Fi and you just want to go into your verbatim. You'll have a password on the bottom across there so you know how to log in that way. So once it connects I'll show you how to do that. Right so we connected and we just want to go into the media share app. So here you'll see your drives that are connected. Obviously you can uh, connect multiple drives if you've got an SD card as well as a USB um, but in this case I've only got my hard drive connected so I'm just going to go and enter my hard drive here I've got a file just for my movies and TV shows um, so for starters I've got quite a few on here um, but if you would like to stream a film let me think of one that is in MP4 um, so if you wanted to watch Where the Mills for example obviously you'd have your own films on there um, but you can just automatically, there we go, the best playback talks about a little crap that you don't even need to know. Turn it round. I'm not going to show you so much of this because it'll probably get copyright. There we go, that loads straight away. Or you can also manage, click it there, copy, local, 
movies, okay? That'll download straight to the device if I had enough memory, which I don't, which is a great way um, for this. Um, it's a great reason to have this, really. Um, and then, really, when you do download, you just go to my device, movies, and it will be there. I have Prison Break there. You can obviously down delete them straight away if you would like to. And that is one way. I'm going to show you now if you have got different file types. So, if you have a film with a different file type, let me just think. Let's see what is this one now? Um, focus. No. Couldn't have done that. No. I've got quite a few MP4 files I didn't really realise. Um, non stop. Before. So I found Creed that is not an MP4 file. Obviously, just make it easier if you do have MP4 files, um, folks. I'm just going to click Creed. BLC should pop up, okay? And it'll pop up with this. Would you like download? Download. Obviously, if you did have enough storage, like I don't at the moment, so it's a bad example. But if you did, um, it would let you just download that. Wouldn't take too long, and you can just turn the device off, leave it on, whatever you'd like to do, and you can watch that film from there. Also, you can use it obviously without the device. Um, if you've got it downloaded, um, so yeah, it's a lot easier than um, just loading films onto your iPad before you go onto the journey. Uh, you've just got them on your hard drive. You don't need, really need to be bothered about memory. Um, so yeah, you can pick up the verbatim for about twenty pounds here in the UK. I just picked up mine off Amazon, um, and here I've got a two hundred fifty gigabyte hard drive, which was about seventeen pounds. Um, so yeah, you don't really need that big, you can have smaller ones, it obviously depends on what you're using it for, if you're using it for films, I do recommend getting a large one because then you're not bothered about what type of films you're downloading and how many you're downloading. I've got a lot of TV episodes on here as well, so that's great for when I go away. Um, that basically wraps up the video, um, there's not much else to say about it, um, it's just really good for uh, doing long journeys. You've got all your films there, you can choose from them. You don't have to be having being restricted to two films, like if you download it onto your iPad or whatever. Um, you've got all them films there, which you can use any one of them. There's also a great way of putting stuff from your device onto your verbatim. So if you've taken a video or photo and you'd like to upload that, like say if you're out and you'd like to upload a photo straight to Facebook, um, obviously if you've took it on a camera it will be difficult so what you want to do is you can just go I don't think I've got any photos on here you can just go and download that straight to the device um, which is very easy and if you've got stuff on your device that you'd like to put on your uh, like an SD card or USB um, you can just go into your you can just go into here iPad photos got all your um, folders and then you just want to uh, click on one, manage, and just copy it straight to the device. So guys, that is it for the video. Um, I will leave links to the Amazon site for the verbatim, um, and obviously you can pick up a hard drive yourself. You can use normal USBs in this as well. Absolutely fantastic for watching films on the go. So guys, if you did enjoy the video, please hit that like button. Let me know for other videos you'd like to do. Um, let me know that in the comments. Um, if you are new around here, please subscribe because it's absolutely free. And thank you for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.